I need two readers. Ready, please. One reader. One and a half. Three. Five. That's because I'm, I'm going to teach and I'm just going to bring it out because he's a prideful heathen and he ain't going to understand it, period. Because the Lord ain't dealing with Cush. We're not disrespectful. The Lord is disrespectful. He said that all you Cushites, all you Ethiopians, it doesn't, it's, it's a scarf. It's a scarf. Why you got, isn't that halal? Don't you read the Quran? Uh, but do you read the Quran? Okay, doesn't the Quran say that that's, hal that's uh, uh, haram. Haram? haram? Doesn't he say it's haram? So why are you doing haram? <laughs> so what, what, so how many prophecies did Muhammad prophesy? I don't know, but he came 400 years ago. Well, well, they sure didn't come true. Whatever, whatever he prophesied, they didn't come true. They didn't come true. Because Prophet Muhammad was a white boy that you idolize. Well, because you must not read hadith. <laughs> You must not read him. His thighs were white, his legs were white, his hands were white, his head was white. I don't need to, I don't need to. You know why? Because I don't run on your show. This is the Lord's show right here. That's what it is. And if you don't like it, you can bring your ass up the street. That's what you could do. Oh. Hey, why don't you tell me since you seem to know everything? Romans, what else? There's Greeks, what else? Palestinians? How did they get into Palestine? Palestine. No shit. I know that. <laughs> See, and, and this, this, this is what it is. You know what? Because you're a prideful heathen, just like I said. And if you want to talk, let's have a conversation. But if you don't want to talk, you carry your ass up the block. It's very simple. But you just said you didn't want to talk to the man with the mic because I got a mic. So do you want to talk to me or not? You're not getting the mic. You're not getting this mic because this is not your property. This is our property. You can get your own mic and you can stand right there with your own mic. Right. We're preaching that that this country is going straight to hell in a handbag. Hey, hey. Look, this country is finished. Your country is finished. Right. All the other nations are finished. Right. You know who's going to the top? The children of Israel. That's, right. That's who's going to the top. Not you, right. not them. The children of Israel. That's right. Right. So we can either have a conversation based on facts, based on the Bible, because the Quran ain't nothing but toilet paper. Right. I wipe my ass with the Quran. Right. We all do. It's nothing but kindling. That's what it is. No, but what is to be what is to be godly? What does it mean to be godly? Empathy for who? For perspective of what? You saying these words, but you're not saying anything that belongs to these words. What do I need perspective of? It is trash. It's not a holy book. It's an unholy book, actually. Do you know what Quran means? Quran means to recite. What are they reciting? They're just reciting the Bible because Muhammad was a camel jockey who was hanging off the of nuts of Israelites. Muhammad was a camel jockey who was hanging off of the nuts of Israelites. That's what he was. And you, again, idolized this man. For what? None of his prophecies came to pass. In fact, his people put our people in slavery. Are you in this conversation or is it just me by myself? Who is our people? This is our people right here. The children of Israel. The ones that are below your people right now for a certain time. Because we did what? We disobeyed our Heavenly Father. You're, you just said the Ethiopians. Cushites, Ethiopians, Hamites, you're all dirty. It don't even matter. Christian, what the hell is a Christianite? I didn't say no Christian. I said Cushites. Cushites. We're having a conversation. You should be able to listen to me. Well, where did, well, hold on, hold on. Where did Aramaic come from? Where did Aramaic come from? No, bullshit. Aramaic came from Hebrew. What kind of Hebrew? You need to research that right now. Pull out your smartphone and use it to be something smart. Hebrew is the initial language, and Aramaic came from Hebrew. It's a dialect from Hebrew. 
I'm telling you that Jesus spoke whatever he decided to speak. But what does that have to do with the point that we're trying to make? Well, the point that we're trying to make, again, is that the children of Israel are in a low estate. Thus saith the Bible. Thus saith the Heavenly Father. All you other nations are above us right now. This motherfucker is listening. No, it's what it is. What it is is that you too busy talking. You too busy. What's your nation? I can turn it off. What's your you too busy what's your talking here. I'm gonna lower it down just one for a question. second. What's your nation? I just one question, said, what's your name? You clearly ain't been one listening. Question, what's your name? You, you, are so you can't, are can you at least shut the fuck up and listen to me real quick? That's, 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 that's all you got to do. You all you got to do is be quiet. All you got to do is be quiet for a second and let me. I've been telling you, but you ain't listening. It's the children of Israel. Enjoy your true colors, bro. Enjoy your true colors. Enjoy your day. What's your nation? Clearly, this fool ain't understanding anything I'm saying. I've said it. I've said it about seven times. The children of Israel. That's who we are. We are descended from Israel. Yes, we are. It is very much a nation. What nation do you come from? What nation do you come from? You're right, and you've been cutting me off every chance you get. How does that feel? So I'm asking you a question. What nation are you from? In London, now he's from London, England. Bring this up. Luke 23 and verse 38. And a subscription also was written over him in letters of Greek, in Latin, in Hebrew. This is the king of the Jew. Oh, man. Damn. I didn't hear, hey, did I hear Aramaic? Did I hear Aramaic? Hey, did I hear Aramaic? Hey, what, did, I didn't hear no Aramaic. Did y'all hear? Wait, one more time. He didn't, he didn't hear it. Luke 23. Verse 38. Bring it out. And a superscription also was written right. over him in letters of Greek, uh -huh. in Latin, uh -huh. and people. This is the king of the Jew. No, there was definitely no Aramaic in that sentence. What you got, brother? Bring I, got, it up. I got Acts 22, the mighty powerful book of Acts. 22 and 2. I'm going to start from the top. Men, brethren, and fathers, hear ye my defense which I make now unto you. And when they heard that he spake, he, the Hebrew tongue, the Aramaic tongue, in the Hebrew tongue, the English tongue, in the Hebrew tongue, the British tongue, in the Hebrew tongue, the Chinese tongue, in the Hebrew tongue, the Mongolian tongue, in the Hebrew tongue, in the Hebrew tongue, to them they kept the more silence, and he said. Right. There it is. They kept silence, which is exactly what you're not keeping because you're silent now, and I appreciate the silence. You read it. You read it. But look. You read it. No. Hey, what is it that you're trying to read? Here. Here. Let, let, give me, let me see. I'll, I'll read it for you. Here. Here. I'll, I'll, read, I'll read it for you. Yeah, I'll, I'll read this for you. You want me to read it? Hey. Yeah, I'll read it for you. What you got? Here. Here we go. Oh, God. What is that? I'm reading. I'm reading. Hold on. Among the Jews, Aramaic was used by the common people, while Hebrew remained the language of religion and government of the upper class. But that's not, that's not telling me where, why don't you, here, take the same phone, okay? And you show me, show me where Aramaic came from. Do you know who the common people were? The Essenes, you ever heard of the Essenes? Yeah, the Essenes. You ever heard of the Essenes? That's, that's where that language come from. The yeah, the Aramaic. Yeah, that, that, that was the common language that they spoke. The Essenes are a sect of Israelites that come from the priests. Okay. Whichever way you look at it, everything came from the children of Israel. Traffic lights come from the children of Israel. Boilers come from the children of Israel. Everything that you can think of, I'm sure even making of bricks comes from a child of Israel. Right? right? Nothing else really came from these other nations because these other nations aren't That's right. coherent enough to understand this stuff. Right? Everything that has been given Yo, my man, you bleeding all over has me. been from the Most High God. 
And the Most High God is only dealing with his chosen people, right. who are the children of Israel, right. and none else. Ata Golim, Yeha Shekat Kalev, Adumi Kaleni, Adumi Kalev, Yaraskala, Medu Kalam. I don't know what he said, but I'm sure it just made you bleed Arabic. some more. It was not Arabic, that was Hebrew. See that? Damn. Hey, say it again, come on, let's get down on it, let's get down on it. Ata Kalev, Ata Kalev, Yehashakat Kalev, Adumi Kaleni, Adumi Kalani, Adumi Kalev, Tasawawa Ash. Hey, we're going to keep going with whatever lesson is left. Give me a second address. So what we're going to do is we're just going to keep going on with this lesson <clears throat> so that the heathens, you know, they always come to destroy whatever God is trying to build. So we're going to keep rolling on with it. The brothers brought it out mighty in the spirit. The priests brought it out mighty in the spirit. And we're going to keep going. We're not going to let this heathen stop this word. This word is going to keep on going out to everybody that's in the sound of my voice. You are all going to get the words of God. The words of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. And that's who we give our praise and reverence to is our Heavenly Father in the name of His only begotten Son. Can you point out Israel? Uh, 132. <laughs> you ain't getting no play, bro. Just don't okay. Hey, y'all can't point don't it out. Smoke. I just pointed well, it out to you. Let's go smoke that cigarette, don't man. Smoke. Don't clean yourself on that cigarette. So uh, you know, again, he's going. He 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 can't he can't uh, hang with uh, dealing with a conversation. So you know, it stresses him out, and he has to turn to Haram. So bring this out. Second Edges, chapter one, verse thirty-two. I sent unto you my servants, the prophets, whom you have taken and slain. He. The Lord said that he has sent prophets out into this world. Right. Prophets that are going to bring his word out, right? But what has the other nations done? The other nations have just slain the prophets of the Lord. Any which way you go, it's always going to happen. Because they don't want this word to come out. They don't want this world to know that they have a people that's better than them. That's right. They have a people that's supposed to be above them. They don't know. Keep going. And torn their bodies in pieces, whose blood I will require of your hands, saith the Lord. Whose blood he will require. The Lord is going to require all the iniquity from these people. Everything that they have done to us from start to finish. And they're still doing to us. Right. Still doing to us. They don't stop. They haven't learned the lesson. Why? Because the Lord hasn't taken wrath on them immediately. Right? The word says, though, damn, now he said Habib. Shit. He's calling himself out. He's calling himself out. You know, the Lord said that just because, and I'm paraphrasing roughly, just because justice doesn't happen because of wrongdoing doesn't mean that it isn't going to happen. And this country has some recompense coming to its ass. Bring this out. This is the book of Proverbs 1 and 20. No, you good? Wisdom crieth without. Wisdom crieth without. And that's what we've been trying to do all day, is bring wisdom to this horrible world. She uttered her voice in the streets. And that's where we are. Are we not in the streets of Glenwood Avenue? Right. In Raleigh, North Carolina? Right. Do we not go to Glenwood? Uh, uh, Salaki, uh, Greensboro? Right? Do we not have brothers in Charlotte, New York, Baltimore? trying to bring this word out, but they all in the streets. Unlike your pastors, your lying pastors, who stay in the church, in a nice air-conditioned room, preaching a false gospel to the people that need it the most. She crieth in the chief place of concourse. The chief place of concourse. Glenwood Avenue is a chief place of concourse. Looks like it to me. I see a Carolina Ale House over there. I see a couple of bars around. This looks like a chief place of concourse. Keep going. In the opening of the gates, in the city, she uttered her words, saying, How long, ye simple ones? How long, ye simple ones? That's what our people are, and that's what the heathen is also. Right. But this word ain't for them. This word is for the people that need it the most. 
which is you so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American man, woman, and child. Right. We're the ones that are destitute. We're the ones that are on the bottom of society. While their people open up shops on every corner, on every inch of this street, selling the garbage that we don't need. Selling all this garbage, right? Who needs that pork chop sandwich from the ale house? Not me. I don't need it. Keep going. How long, how long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity? And the scorners delight in their scorning. And that's what this guy is. He's a scorner. He's a scoffer. And the Lord said that in the last days, scoffers will arise. And this is a scoffer. And fools that hate knowledge. That's pretty self-explanatory. We're dealing with fools out here. Huh. We're dealing with fools that read a book that says they shouldn't do something and yet they still do it. Make that make sense. Thou hypocrites. Christ said it best. Not Muhammad, not uh, anybody else, no other prophets other than Christ. All right, Jeremiah, Isaiah, they all said, the knowledge of God is what? His law, statutes, and commandments. That's right. Right? Give me uh, 1 Corinthians, we're going to start at 9, and then you give me uh, Matthew 15, 24. So, you know, the, current, the, the, the same theme is going to continue now. We're not here for everybody, right? God doesn't love everybody. Right. God only loves the children of Israel. Right. The other nations are going to be going into captivity for the things that they've done. I see it. Right? Bring this out first. Matthew chapter 15, verse 24. But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And that was red letter, which is from Christ. Christ said himself, I am not here but for the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And that is what you're looking at. You're looking at the house of Israel. You're looking at the, the chosen people that God has ordained from beginning. Bring this out. This is the powerful book of 1 Corinthians 9 from the top. Am I, am, am I not an apostle? Are we not apostles? Do we not come out here and do the will of the Lord? Right. That's what we were sent out here for. He sent us out into the highways and hedges. To compel our people, our people who think they're okay and going to Sunday church. 11 o'clock with those big ass hats, thinking they're doing something well for the Lord. But we're here to tell you that you're not doing right. The Lord isn't happy with your large purple hat. The Lord isn't happy with your pimped out suits. He don't like that stuff. That stuff doesn't please him. You know what pleases him? Following these statutes and commandments. Right. That's what pleases the Lord. Right. right? Jump down to 16. This is the book of Corinthians, 1 Corinthians 9 and now 16. For thou, for thou I preach the gospel. For though we preach the gospel, what is the gospel? What is the gospel? Because that's the constant theme that we hear in these horrible churches. What is the gospel? Grab me that in Isaiah 61, and we're going to find out what the gospel is. Bring this up. I have nothing to glory of, for necessity is laid upon me. And the necessity is laid upon all these brothers you see here, right? The, necess the, the necessity to bring this word out to the people that need it the most, right? Our necessity is to prophesy to the wind, prophesy in the chief place of concourse, Prophesy wherever you're going to find our people. Right. Because our people is what needs us the most. Keep going. Yea, woe is unto me if I preach not the gospel. Woe unto me if I don't preach the gospel. Right. Now let's find out what the gospel is. Isaiah what? Chapter sloppy. Isaiah chapter 61 from the top. The spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. Unto the meek. 
That's what we're here for, for the meek. The people that are lowly in this earth is gonna be our people. But where did we hear this from? Let's find out. Bring that out from Christ. Christ himself. This is the mighty book of Luke, starting at 14, what, 14 and? See, look at that. Hey, you resist the devil and he flees. Peace out, homie. Hey, I don't I don't understand anything you're saying over there. Hey, the Quran is trash and it's good for nothing but kindling. Keep enjoying that haram. My bad, 417. Hey, you don't know what haram if it smacked you in the face. Hey, and you better get that gay porn off your phone too. That's haram for real. I accidentally pressed on one of his tabs. All I saw was gay porn all over the place. I, didn't, I wasn't gonna say nothing, but he oh. wanted to keep going off as a prideful, eat, uh, prideful heathen. Oh. I wouldn't be surprised if he's an Edomite back in the day. Damn. Children of hand. Uh, <laughs> 4 17. 4 17. Yeah. Bring that up. This is the book of Luke 4 and 17. And this is, so like it, this is, this is gonna be red letter. And there was delivered unto him the book of the prophet Isaiah. And when he had opened the book, he found the place where it was written. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he, he hath anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captive. Who are the captives? We go over this week in and week out. Who are the captives? The captives are the children of Israel. Right. The captives are you so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American man, woman, and child. Right. Right? Because you put the parents in captivity, and by default, the children are in captivity as well. That's right. Right? You look at the Mexican border, and what's happening at the Mexican border? Captivity. Captivity. Captivity, right? You got kids being put in cages, being separated from their parents. That doesn't sound like freedom to me. That sounds like wickedness. And who are the people that are doing this wickedness? We already know it's the children of Esau, who have been hating us since birth. Now bring this up. The Spirit of the Lord, Isaiah chapter 61, for the top, the Spirit of the Lord God is upon me, because the Lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. He has sent me to bend up the broken hearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and to opening of the prisons to them that are bound. To the opening of the prisons to them that are bound. Right? Our people are bound up in the prisons physically and our people are bound up in the prison mentally how are they bound up mentally because they allow these celebrities to run their lives right they allow the sexy reds they allow the cardi b's to dictate how they live their life they let esau tell them it's okay to be a homosexual and they will fly right along with it right Oh, my zaddy said that it's okay for me to be a homo. So I'm going to go ahead and be a homo. Right? <laughs> hey, that fruitcake, uh, Lil Nas X, now all of a sudden he wants to be a Christian. Make that make sense. How can you be a homo, a homo Christian? Christian means to be a follower of Christ. Being a homo saying that you can be on your knees for more than just praying isn't being a Christian. You'll never hear that come out of the words of Christ. Christ would have lopped his head off, clean off, if he would have said that shit anywhere near him. Excuse my French. But this is what this world promotes. This world promotes nothing but negativity. This world promotes nothing but uh, 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 disgusting, uh, I'm at a loss for words on how disgusting this place is. Right. This place is, it's horrible, right? And the Lord said that this place is gonna be burnt to ashes. He said there wasn't gonna be any brick left standing. Not one ounce of building is going to be left. All these high rises you see, they're all going to be brought down to the bare bones. 
That's right. To the bad concrete studs. This entire place is going to be burnt to the crisp because it is nothing but wickedness. This is the the virgin daughter of Babylon. That's right. And it's exact opposite of what it means. What does it mean to be a virgin? Pure, right? Clean. If you even if you go by the definition of virgin through this world, it means untouched. This world is exact opposite. This world has been touched, has been ran through, has been DP'd, has been just all the, all the adjectives you can think of, right? This world is disgusting. This world will have you believe that wearing a mask on your face is going to protect you from an airborne virus. Make that make sense. Do we not know that the virus is smaller than the holes on the mask? But yet, people put stock in a mask and think this piece of fabric is going to stop them from getting sick. I'll tell you who's getting you sick. It's the Lord that's getting you sick. It's the Lord that's making those little molecules go through that woven fabric to make you sick. If the Lord bids you not to be sick, you won't be sick. Right? Paul was bitten by a viper and he shrugged it off like nothing. Last time I checked, there's some poisonous snakes. And to shrug it off like that, you gotta be mighty and powerful for real. You gotta have a, a, a mighty power behind you. You have to have a Lord above all lords. Look at these pale faced devils just staring over here trying to figure out what we're doing. That's crazy. They always want to be all up in the business. They want to be in everybody's business. So, do you know the gospel? You do? What is it? You don't know? <laughs> that just say that's America right there, the hypocrisy. He said he knows the gospel, and then when you ask him what the gospel is, he don't know. Damn, we, we got let's go back to this gospel again. Let's do it one more time, so lock in. Start there from the top. I just, I, hey, I can't make this up. You, you unfortunately can't. Isaiah chapter 61 from the top. The spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord hath anointed me to preach the good tidings unto the meek. He has sent me to bend up the brokenhearted to proclaim Liberty to the captives in the opening of the prison to them that are bound. Verse 2, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God. The day of vengeance. That's what we're waiting patiently on, right. is the day of vengeance. That's right. This place has a lot of vengeance coming back to it. That's right. How about you guys? Do you know what the gospel is? Do you guys believe in Jesus Christ? What's the gospel? You don't know either? Damn. There's got to be somebody that knows the gospel out here. Tell me the word. How about you guys? You know the gospel? Why say here if you don't know? Hey, don't I don't know. know. It's, hey, thou hypocrites. They say they know the gospel, but unfortunately they don't. Um, so it's getting pretty dark out here. I think I'm going to wrap it up. I think... Uh, I think we've done enough damage for the day. <laughs> hey, we can go another hour if you want. Hey, what can I say? Uh, we love our people. Uh, Repent. Come back to the Lord. Right. right? Hey, look. Let the Lord know that you love him by keeping his commandments. We say death to America. We say death to these other nations. May the Lord put you under subjection to the children of Israel. And with that, I want to say,